weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic Mole Man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that Mole Man gets back, Sam. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other Mole Men. Oh! <laughs> Check if he left his wallet. No such luck. It's locked. Looks like skunk ape. In a better world, aliens... I miss Grandpa Stinky and his blasphemous recipes. Hello, sir, Mr. President. President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh, no, I'm just President of the United States. Only one of many United Nations working You're together alone to here, achieve. Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge pretty much. Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All the wonders of the galaxy yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for an artifact of interest to my people. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of yogg Sogoth, one of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the Great Comet. It's believed to give the Holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was he just... He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. Does the General want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. Relax, buddy. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. What are you doing here, Agent Superball? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? 
Heck if I know. As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else. Well, I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myth and legends, that kind of thing. Not to point fingers or anything, but we couldn't help noticing that disembodied alien brain floating in a jar on board your ship. How much do you want for it? Oh, it's not for sale, my friends. <laughs> that brain is all that remains of my colleague, Gordon, Joe, Hanson, son. He uh, fought by my side for many years and gave his life to find the great artifacts. He was a great warrior. He really had an eye for toys, and he was a good friend. You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no. I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy and muggy world, the air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes, the stillness of the nights punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. We'll uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first. Just a formality. Go in peace. It's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. It's been months and they still haven't sealed up this crack. Somebody should do something about it. I say we all wear gray ribbons to raise crack awareness. Hello and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. 